friends! So today's video is actually suggested by some of my friends and co-workers. They wanted me to make a video on how a guy should treat a lady, how a gentleman acts, or gentlemanly etiquette. They gave me a lot of great tips to include in my video, and then I asked the internet, and of course Tumblr as always were the ones who responded, so thank you to all my friends on there. They gave me some really great tips to include in my video, so thank you to everyone for your input. First of all, this should go without saying, but no means no, and that's not just in the bedroom, that's any time if a girl says she doesn't want to date you that's not like a challenge if a girl says she doesn't want to talk to you leave her alone that means she doesn't want to talk to you like it's not a big game just respect her when she says no respect our boundaries don't push them don't pressure us until we give in just be respectful of the boundaries we've set let's talk about PDA okay when you're affectionate in private that means I really care about you and I want to show you how I feel about you through my affection. When you're affectionate in public, that says, hey everyone, come see how affectionate I am. Let me prove my love to you by showing the whole world how affectionate I am. From what I've seen, being overly affectionate in public or online can often mean that things aren't really so good in private and you have to overcompensate by being overly affectionate in public. And that's kind of how it looks. So if you don't want to look like you're compensating, keep it in private. Don't just assume you know what we like. Don't just assume you know, oh, all girls like this or whatever. Ask us what we like. Communicate. As John Green would say, use your words. One of my friends suggested taking your lady out for texting and scones. I'm not just including it to make a Doctor Who reference. I actually thought about this and thought it was really funny. And then I realized if a guy came up to me and asked, you know, to go out for texting and scones, I would laugh and I would almost definitely do it because that means he's paid attention, he knows that I like Doctor Who, and he asked me out through a reference of that. Basically, just pay attention to what she's really into. If you ask her out using a reference to something she loves, that's a pretty good way to get a positive answer. My good friend Megan on Tumblr said, don't treat her like an object, and that's really important. Don't catcall, don't whistle at women from your cars. That's awful. When has that ever had a positive response ever in the history of the world? Like seriously, have you ever seen a woman like after being catcalled say, oh my gosh, I really want to sleep with you. No, that has never happened. Take every opportunity to compliment your girl, tell her that you think she's beautiful inside and out, do it in creative ways, don't just say the same thing every day because that kind of seems fake. And a lot of girls are really insecure and a lot of girls do have self-esteem issues. So if there's something that you like about your girl, something physically, or not let her know as much as possible in as many different ways as you can so that she will know that you're genuine and then maybe she can start to see herself in a better light. Not to say that all girls are insecure. I don't want to like put that out there because I know a lot of girls who are super confident but even those girls love to hear good things about themselves. Everyone likes to hear that they're pretty. My Tumblr friend said this and I think this is a great note to end on. Support her goals and ambitions. Listen to her when she needs you to. Ultimately, just be a good person to everyone regardless of gender. And that's a great way to be a gentleman, honestly. I know zero men watch my videos, so please pass this on to guys you know who need some advice on gentlemanly etiquette. If you have any more tips to contribute, leave them down in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are all doing really well, and I will talk to you all next week. Bye.